Have you ever seen two sonatas by one composer, in which one is a version of another form-wise, but in inversion? No? Then you are at the perfect place, and this is just the video for you. Welcome to Belgrade Guitar District Lectures. My name is Moma, and I hope that you will enjoy. Fernando Sor was a Spanish composer who lived in the 19th century. He was a great guitar innovator, and one of the most important composers for guitar of all time. Sor wrote only two grand sonatas for guitar, and there is one important and unusual fact about them, which we are going to examine. There is almost nothing unusual about the first grand sonata number one from Opus 22. It contains four movements. The first one is in C major, written in a typical form of sonata allegro. The second movement is slow and in C minor, and provides a complete contrast to the first one. A fast and humorous minuet is the third movement. Finally, the last one is written in a typical sonata rondo form. Grand Sonata number no. 2 from Opus 25 is one of the most interesting in guitar history. First movement is in C minor, slow and dramatic. The second one is a contrasting C major movement, written in sonata allegro form. A surprisingly interesting theme with variations is the third movement. And finally, the last one is a majestic C major minuet. Now we come to the previously mentioned inversion. First of all, let's examine things that are common to both sonatas. Both of them are written in the key of C. Both have three highly orchestrated movements in C major and one movement in C minor. In both of them the slow movement is in C minor and one C major movement is written in the traditional sonata allegro form. And finally, both of them have one movement in a minuet form. And what about the great inversion? The hypothesis is that Sor, composing the second Grand Sonata, initially wanted to make an inversion of the first Grand Sonata, in terms of the Sonata form. In other words, he switched first and second movements, and he also switched third and fourth movements. The other presupposition is that Sor initially composed the second Sonata in the same form. A C major Sonata Allegro movement in the beginning, followed by a slow C minor movement, a C major minuet, 
and the theme with variations in the end. After writing the piece in this order, he realized that the first movement is not powerful enough for the beginning of the Grand Sonata, and he replaced it with a slow and dramatic C minor movement. He also realized that the theme with variations is not powerful enough to end the sonata, and he replaced it with the maestoso minuet. For all these reasons, he invented the second grand sonata similar and at the same time completely different than the first grand sonata, thus creating this amazing grand sonata inversion. At the very end, there is one more inversion just to make sure that our hypothesis is properly based. The re-exposition of the sonata allegro in the first sonata is traditional. The first theme is followed by the second theme in the same key. On the contrary, the re-exposition of the allegro movement in the second sonata is written in inversion. First, we have the second theme in C major, and then we hear the first theme. By doing this, Sor made sure that his inversion was complete. I hope that you learned something new. Stay tuned to Belgrade Guitar District and keep listening to great guitar music. Mm -hmm.